Okay, there we go. So, it, this is gonna be so weird, like, a reacting in public, right? Yes. Hey, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at you, Olivier, like, you don't have to respond because I know you're busy. You're my brick wall, alright? All right, 40 minutes. I, I've been shaking like all day. I know. It's gonna be... <laughs> all right. Let me put in my headphones. Let's see what we get. Okay. Just a little opening. Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters, 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer as 3. Our entire team has worked okay. really hard. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, let's do this. As soon as they're done announcing. Oh, here's the first. Okay. I'm gonna turn off my nose. Wait. What? <gasps> That's Ken, isn't it? That's fucking Ken from Street Fighter, isn't it? Holy shit. Bring it on. Yeah, it looks like a Ryu Echo. Wait, no, that- Oh my god. No, he's dead. No. I don't know. Is he different or not? Olivia, I cannot figure out if he's different or not. Wait, there's something else. So there's more Pokemon. Fire with fire, huh? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Wait, is he still grappling? This is amazing. <laughs> this is fantastic. He's huge. Wait, the Grinch leak is big. Yes! <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay. Hailing from the Street Fighter series, Ryu's rival yeah. Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Oh, he is an Echo. Okay. In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. But let's get back to Ken. Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's how he'll differ from Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. So he's like the shape of his Hadoken is different too. He's actually like a boy. And his Tatsumaki Senpukeku strikes opponents multiple times. Okay. Hell wheel. Focus attack. Yeah, there We've is. included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, he which change based the on your command He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Just like Ryu, he has two final smashes. First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Ryuken. 
We've made it look flashy as it is in the Versus series. Execute a final like smash near an opponent was like and you'll instead in perform one of my top three Jin Raikou. So I might play the hell out of Ken. Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. What? Last? It may be a Pokemon, but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws oh, no are way. a bit more powerful. Like it a true pro passed. wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, <laughs> so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Wait. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. <laughs> Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. It's up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. This attack can be very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy to self destruct, so be careful. For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. This is actually if you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long and you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. This is actually the greatest kit ever. Its down special is revenge. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up its next attack. That's Incineroar's idea of a counterattack. And its final smash? Max Malicious Moonsault. It's even faster and fiercer than the Z-move it's based on. <laughs> it explodes. There's no way. We finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. This is the initial fighter select screen. Oh, it's just the there aren't very many at first, but it tried. is the same amount as the original this Nintendo 64 game. And once you've unlocked them all... Is he, is he telling the truth, though? Is he telling the truth when he says that's all of them? It'll look like this. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number, in the order they joined the series. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74 fighters on the roster. I'm just gonna show off the figures now. Ooh. No, no, I have a, I, I have a sneaky suspicion that's not it. This is it. Actually, there is a way, but you may recall that we're creating amiibo hmm. in parallel with the game. Here's a look at the new amiibo figures. Okay. We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit what? for this game. Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. That said, the Super Smash Bros. series is one massive crossover at heart, and we want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters, from a variety of video game worlds. Here's what we came up with. They're called Spirits. Oh, oh, is that more that they were leaking? And I don't mean the spooky kind. To put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. In the Super Smash Bros. series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. Yeah. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. All of them, except world. the fighters, are turned into spirits, unable to return to the real world. This is, so this is a spirit. Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. There's a massive amount of wildly different spirits. I'm like on the edge of my seat. There are several classes of spirits. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces, and some are in a league of their own. Wait, the Legend. stars. This is like... Um, One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. A 
A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. In some cases, these augmented fighters become extremely powerful. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. It can't be. While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, support spirits lend them additional skills. Once the primary spirit and support spirits are set, your fighter is all powered up. The main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you want to battle for. When you do, you'll face off against a fighter whose abilities and personality are kinda sorta similar to the opposing spirit. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa in a group of small red Bowser. That's so funny Iggy's actually. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car, of course. Here are some examples of other That's battles actually so you can funny. expect. This is gonna be, be hella fun. Conditions. <laughs> Wait, are the, the DVDs are invisible. Mega Man who just throws you. <laughs> the challenges. Come on. Taunting every opponent with the killer. I was trying to say it, but I didn't. But, wait, that, that computer mean? What does that mean for this? I don't think They're showing off a lot of these. <laughs> okay. So but now, what's he doing? Hit the puppet fighter to acquire the spirit within. Oh, but you can fail at the end. Huh? Even if you accidentally hit the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Ah. Uh. Guardian. Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab. Grab is strong against shield. Oh, yeah. Shield is strong against attack. How it goes. It's important to pick a spirit that has an advantage over your opponent. When you encounter oh, yeah. traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle conditions oh. offer hints before battle, so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. <laughs> With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Or you can feed it snacks. Some spirits even have an enhanced form you can only unlock by leveling them up. You can also send spirits back to the real world. While you do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. Okay, I would not. And by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. <laughs> the trophies, though, kind of You can sucks. also train spirits at dojos and the gym. <laughs> or send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. 
These seem like unlikely teams of characters, it's like but each team, team could be somebody's dream come true. Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes, or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. Certain spirits are known as masters. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. Oh my god, amiibos are gonna be terrifying. It's one great big collection of characters from many different series, but just how many would you guess there are? Yeah, how many? Whenever you fight against the spirit, the final smash meter is enabled. Oh. Some spirits even help you fill up your gauge at a faster it's rate. Delicious. <gasps> it's like the melee opening. Another way to put it, the spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. Okay. I wish I could make more noise. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. While assembling a team, press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Okay. Keep that in mind. This actually looks like fun. You can also fight against other players who are using spirits. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, think carefully when building your team. Wait, is that squad strength? Or balance your strengths in a two-on-two -two battle. Hmm. The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless, or take the fight to the world with online play. Hell yes. To connect to Nintendo Switch consoles, press the ZR button to pull up the dashboard oh, and select local the wireless. Spirits collection. That was that's what was sent to me last time. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Okay. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. Matchmaking. For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight using those rules. You can uh -oh, also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. Uh oh, wait a minute. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Uh, bad Smash feeling about that. Is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Your GSP will change as the total population yeah, you of players are, you want to die. or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end it's up right. with some more serious opponents. It's By right. the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. <gasps> Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. If you repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected, so please don't do that. As with any multiplayer game, a stable connection is very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances so, between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, close please together. understand that we can't promise you'll and always be matched accordingly. Like the, the, the right as rules. such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. We've prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. 
After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. No way! But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. Oh. Freely choose from a wide selection oh. <laughs> of varied preset messages. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Insane. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Form a two-player team. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the same setup. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, that, this should so come good. in handy. <laughs> okay. With the Nintendo Switch Online app, you can voice chat with others in battle arenas. Ooh. It may I'm become an essential tool for some players. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Okay. Instead of focusing on stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service so starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. Screenshots too. Next, I'd like to change topics and talk a little about the assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. Shadow be confirmed. Do you know which characters come from which games? Oh, not Nightmare again. He does not find the deal with. Oh. Wait, what were you? Oh, Fatal Frame. Kinda cool. We're just frozen. What's the status effect? Okay, show me more. Rip. <laughs> God, some people are gonna be so sad about that one. Coming to Aaron. Virtual fighter. Ah. 
This is trophies right now. The total number of assist trophies is now 59. Actually, they outnumber the Pokemon this time. Assist trophies who can be KO'd can also be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd. That way, you won't lose a point to the other player. Nice touch. Now, I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. If you want to review the controls or game modes, press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Oh, neat. A full, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Kinds of helpful guides to check out. Lynch, we get to see that. Throws them forward to the. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess we knew all of that, though. I wanted to see if I could find a detail. What is Century, Century Smash? Smash? May look familiar to veterans. Oh, it's 100 it feels great to keep smashing enemies off the screen, doesn't it? They're using the fighting knee team again. You can play oh, on many different detail. stages. And you can choose the music, too. In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing All-Star mode. But now, you can play it right out of the box. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. Oh, that's different. You can save the replay data of your battles. <laughs> and now, you can create videos with it. Wait. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. There's so many nice touches here. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. Axe is neutral, so holy water's down, so yeah, okay. Complete challenges to earn rewards. And a spear. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. Ah, oh, cool. Press the button to check out each picture. Enjoy! Records, of course. The records menu tracks well, your battle nice history. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline okay, and average for battle bayonet at the top. I see it. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. Yeah. Gold can be exchanged for music tracks, spirits, and <gasps> items for spirits mode. If you're collecting music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want, instead yes. of just relying on challenges. Yes, please. They get like me costumes too. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. Language support? This one game supports 11 languages. <gasps> oh, that some people are going to love that. I know this is that. very important to some of you. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. <laughs> the fighter wow. names are also specific to each language. Well, so you have like all the stuff that's usually restricted to Europe. These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. Wow. Oh, yeah, mode no and handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change oh, yeah. automatically when you dock and undock, <gasps> so be sure to set both. Yes, yes. We've mm -hmm. implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. Oh. While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. Oh, I guess that's good because there's not going to be a team attack on. Yeah, what is this? If you're fighting this? against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take wow, measures no, to ensure no, no, no. it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, a symbol will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. Rude. Wow, so now when I fight my friends, they can just like nerf me. Their outfits. In addition to Dude, the voice options, there are a variety of outfits moves. to choose from. Speaking of me fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. Okay, I'm ready for that. Go! <gasps> A 
smooth looking. Driven hero. <laughs> These are these are nice. I like these. Chubby Robo. Gotta be a gunner. Well, that's the uh, custom Robo thing, isn't it? Raid Mark Three. No. No. Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. I knew it. But there are even more coming post-launch. While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Bros. series. Which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid DLC. Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. Yeah, and we're not talking numbers. about Echo Fighters. Hmm. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. The I'm price for each set is expected to be $5.99. Yeah, that's, that's a lot cheaper. But it's the same price for the fighters. At the but... same time, we will offer the fighters pass. That's five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. Five fighters. When creating something like the Fighters they? Pass, ideally, we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are confident in its value will okay. purchase it. Okay, yes, there. Again, Disclaimer. the price is $24.99 for all five sets. Of course I'm getting that. Now that we've finally confirmed the development of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. By the way, here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the Fighters Pass. Mm -hmm. oh it's a new guy. sword fighter outfit based on Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We decided which fighters to include when we started planning, so we couldn't add characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which was announced after planning had started. Okay. I hope this outfit will help you feel like you're playing as Rex. We're also including some music from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Give it a listen at Gaara Plains sometime. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished yeah. with the main game. Okay. It may take okay. around a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. Wait, that's still faster but than on a separate note. Smash Force release window. We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh my god, what's this gonna be? Why the hell is he? Who are you fighting, Mario? What? It's a piranha plant. What? Wait. Whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> Oh my god. That was like the last thing I expected. It's Petey in his form from That's right, what? Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate, and not as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. It can spit poison, 
fire off spiky balls, and perform long-range attacks. This tricky character is full of surprises. Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, okay. <laughs> We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after the launch. Please stay tuned. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, free limited time, time offer. and then you can buy it later. The physical right? version of the game, you only need to go through the My it's Nintendo like Gold Point registration process what to receive it. Fuck? I hope you'll consider pre ordering. We're also creating an amiibo. It has a nice curved form to it. <laughs> Early February. Mid -February. Later today, you'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. What the fuck? Before we go, there's one more thing. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. I'm in North America, that's me. On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters, so please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next, and more. It's the full game. The tour with the full game. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. Neat. But before we go... Of course, of course. There, it's never over. I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the subspace emissary. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. You bastard. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. You can't just leave it. Oh my god. Don't let a single one get away! Thank you, Tom. Is there not me? Oh my god. Oh. Wait. We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. Holy shit, they're actually talking. <laughs> Ooh, that's spooky. Oh. Oh, yep. That's, uh, that's pretty subspacey. Show it's like, oh shit, I saw this coming. Wait, they're getting Thanos. <laughs> well, rip. Squid did try to hide. <laughs> oh no. Wait, the show flip though. Rip. Of course, look who lives. Of course. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, it's the entire world. Oh, no, the entire universe. Ah, of course. Everyone is dead. That's what this trip is leading up to. Everyone is dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. No, he was fine all along. English lyrics? Oh my god, it is. On that day when the sky fell away, what to an end in our eyes, did a fading sunrise in the dark, glimmering shadows, silent in the spaces in 
Whoa. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. So yeah, that's a bit different, but it's an adventure mode. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. I have to play this. What is so big? They had Sean hit in there. And who is it Olivia, this is the greatest thing ever. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> like, for real. Oh, it's over! No! It can't be over! What the fuck? I, uh... Wait, I should be. Why not? Why not? Like... Oh my god! I guess that's it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're not done yet, though. You gotta go to smashbros.com. Yeah, there we go. We're not done. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it's not broken. Is the website broken? <laughs> no. The website's broken. <laughs> what a tragedy. Battle Wild Pokemon. Ooh, Sun and Moon music. Yeah, I'm listening to that later. Main theme. Japanese. It's, there's lyrics. Oh, this is the best. This is actually the best. I can't wait. <laughs> How long? Like a month? That's fine by me. 